All right, there's Alex, and uh, here to tell us more about why we live in I California. I was going to say, the, the whole reason is the weather. January, and you know what? We're talking temperatures in the 70s and 80s this weekend. So temperatures will soar above average. The warm temperatures will stick around at least through the start of next week. We will have areas of Santa Ana winds actually strengthening through tomorrow and lingering through Sunday. And then the return of rain. So our pattern is going to shift wetter as we head into the end of this uh, upcoming week. Let's talk about winds this morning. I don't have an advisory for you, but it is breezy this morning across the Santa Clarita Valley. We've got offshore winds continuing into Simi Valley, and our winds will strengthen as we head into tomorrow and into Sunday. So it is likely that we have some wind advisories being put into effect. Speaking of advisories, there is a high surf advisory. This is along the Ventura County coastline until 4 o'clock this afternoon. So for Ventura Beaches, surf anywhere from five to eight feet a high risk of rip currents as well so really something to be aware of if you have plans to head into the water and i know it's going to be warm over the next few days so a lot of you might be interested in heading uh, to the coastline if you are headed out of town this weekend maybe going to vegas we've got temperatures in the mid to upper 60s saturday sunday santa barbara beautiful weekend up toward the central coast temperatures in the 70s uh, upper 70s in scottsdale as we head into sunday and in palm springs nearing 80 degrees to San Diego mid 70s tomorrow and as we head into Sunday. So why is it warm? Why are we feeling these warmer temperatures? We've got a ridge of high pressure and this area of high pressure is going to strengthen as we head through this weekend, keeping our temperatures above average. We've got those offshore winds too, helping to warm us up all the way down to the coastline. But we will see this ridge break down as we head into next week. So look for cooler temperatures more clouds and rain chances will increase starting Wednesday afternoon and it is likely that we see rain by Thursday. Here is a breakdown day by day of your seven day forecast. Temperatures in the low 70s today across the valleys. Temperatures jump to the upper 70s tomorrow and we're talking low 80s Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, but a drastic difference as we head into the middle of the week as temperatures drop down to the low 70s by Wednesday, mid 60s Thursday. And we are looking at an increased chance for rain as we head toward the end of the week. That is your next weather forecast. Here is Kalina with traffic. Hi, good morning. So we have Chopper out there this morning taking a look at the incident we have on the 105 in South LA. You can see the backup building here. Cars just crawling on by. This is unfortunately where we do have a deadly crash and an investigation. Um, it's so slow out there. You can see all of the backup here. Again, this is in the westbound direction through South LA right around the 110 connector road. This is what it looks like in the map this morning, but you can also see the alternate routes the 91 and the 405 both look very light right now so it'll help you get around that closure the two right lanes are blocked off for the 105 we also have the southbound connector to the 105 west connector that's blocked off the backup at 25 minutes so again take your alternate routes this morning i do want to remind you about the super 605 corridor project we have lane closures happening at 11 p.m tonight through 7 a.m on saturday this is the impact northbound 605 from rosecrans to imperial Four lanes will be blocked off because of that project. Chris, back to you. All right, Kleena, thank you. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.